Hi there. Now in this question, we're given this diagram that shows the sector of a circle, centre O, and radius R centimetres. Angle AOB is 72 degrees. And what we've got to do first of all is express 72 degrees exactly in radians, simplifying your answer. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So to convert 72 degrees to radians, let's just put an intro here, 72 degrees in radians. What we do is we should know that in a complete term in radians, there's going to be 2 pi radians. So what we've got is a fraction of that. And we've got 72 three sixtieths of 2 pi radians. Of would be to times, and then we've got 2 pi. 72 three sixtieths of 2 pi radians. Now if you work that out, it says give the exact value in radians, so we don't need to type in pi on our calculator. We just need to leave it in terms of pi. So if you do 72 divided by 360 times 2, you'll get 0 0.4. 0 0.4 then, and then multiply by that pi. Or 0 0.4 being 4 tenths, that's the equivalent of 2 fifths, so you could say it's 2 fifths pi. It doesn't make any difference which answer you give. Okay, now in the second part, we're told that the area of the sector AOB is 45 pi centimetre squares. And we've got to find the value of R. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for part two then, how do we find the area of a sector just normally? Well, the area of a sector is a fraction of the complete area of a circle. That fraction is going to be the angle, 0.4 pi in this case, compared with 2 pi radians. So that's the fraction of the complete area of the circle. So of would be to times, and then the area of the circle is pi r squared. Now, the two pi's here, that's that pi there, cancels with this pi here. Now, what we get here is a formula that you may well know already, and that is that when you're working radians, the area of a sector is the angle times the radius squared over 2. Half theta r squared, as we often say. But I thought I'd just do that just to show you how we get that. OK, well, let's just border this off, and then tidying this up, OK, we know that the area, we're told, is 45 pi. So we've got 45 pi then, which must equal 0 0.4 pi times r squared all over 2. So if I rearrange this for r squared by timesing by 2, that's going to give me 90 pi, OK, is going to equal 0 0.4 pi r squared. Well, if I divide by 0 0.4 pi, then that's going to leave me with r squared, equaling 90 pi over 0 0.4 pi. Now those pi's cancel, and we could actually do this without a calculator. We could, in fact, times top and bottom by 10. If we did do that, okay, you'd get 900 over 4. And when it comes to square rooting 900 over 4, to get r, square root of 900 is 30, square root of 4 is 2. So you're going to end up with 15. So just to show you how you can do it if you don't use a calculator. But if you use a calculator anyway, you should find you get 15, obviously. OK, so that is 2. Now we'll go on to the third part. And in the third part of this question, we've got to find the area of the segment bounded by the arc AB and the chord AB, giving the answer correct to three significant figures. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this, and you haven't done so, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. 
So for this third part, if we've got to find the area of the segment, we're talking about a line drawn across here from A to B and trying to find this area in here. And to do this, what I'm going to do is find the area of the triangle, okay, AOB. We know the area of the whole sector. It is 45 pi, so I've just got to take the area of the triangle away from 45 pi, and that will give me the area of the segment. So let's start with the area then of the triangle. Okay, so I have area of triangle, and that is the triangle OAB. Now to do this, I'm going to use the formula half AB sine C, which you should be familiar with, which basically is half the two sides that surround the angle, so this is going to be R times R. Well, we've seen that R was 15 centimetres, so that's going to be 15 times 15, or 15 squared. Now it's multiplied by the sine of the included angle between these two sides, which is going to be the sine of 72 degrees. Now you could write the sine of 72 degrees here, or you could write the angle in radians, which is 0.4 pi, or 2 fifths pi, it's up to you. I'll put 0.4 pi here, okay? Now, I would ask you to experiment with this, okay? If you're doing it in radians, make sure your calculator is in radians mode, okay, when you're using this trigonometric function. If you put your calculator in radians mode, you will find you'll get 106.993 and so on. Try it now, doing the same sum, put 72 degrees in there, but make sure that you put your calculator now in degrees mode and you should get exactly the same answer. Okay, so that's the area of the triangle. Okay, we'll just put centimeter squares there. So we're in a position now to work out the area of the segment. So we'll put area of segment and to do that then what we need to do is take the area of the sector which was 45 pi and from this subtract the area of the triangle which is 106.993 and so on. And if you do this you don't have to be in degrees mode or radians mode, we're not doing the sine, cos or tan of any angle here. You should find you get 34.377 and so on. And if we round this to three significant figures, then this is going to equal 34.4 centimeter squares to three significant figures, 3SF for short then. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea if you were struggling on any parts of that question.